There have been some, there were some really ugly images uh, on the TV screens yesterday, some really reprehensible assaults, attacks by Trump. How do you respond to that? Well, I think the speech yesterday was really an attempt to present to the American people everything that he has said, uh, what he has proposed that he would do, which violates Republican and Democratic agreement about how to be strong in the world, how to present ourselves, how to protect our allies and our friends, how to take on our rivals where necessary. And his, uh, you know, comments, his rants and his outright lies anytime. President Trump, who is our commander in chief. And I have said, and I believe this uh, with all my heart, he is uh, not qualified either there by experience, preparation or temperament. Uh, on the TV screens yesterday by anti-Trump protesters against people who support Donald Trump. Do you condemn the violence? What is your message to people who are protesting Donald Trump? I condemn all violence in our political uh, arena. I condemned it when Donald was inciting it and congratulating people who were engaging in it. I condemn it by those who are uh, taking violent uh, protests to physical assault uh, against President Trump. This has to end. He set a very bad example. He created an environment in which it seemed to be um, acceptable for someone to be inciting violence. It should all stop. It is not acceptable. At the end of the day, do you think that by showing his opposition in such a horrendous light? I don't think protests uh, that were led by beating up people who were uh, peacefully protesting against Trump and I don't think that people who are protesting and using uh, physical violence against Trump are helping anybody. So I wanted to just end, Jake. I don't want to parse it. I don't want to talk about the political implications. I want it to end. The police have a hard enough job trying to make sure that we're able to gather and talk about the issues facing our country. And Trump has lowered the bar. And now, is it a surprise that people who don't like him are stepping over that low bar? I don't think it is. He needs to condemn all violence by everyone. Uh, there was a really disappointing jobs report that came out. <clears throat> um, 38,000 jobs, not enough to even remotely keep pace with population growth were created in the month of May. Uh, thousands and thousands of Americans disheartened leaving the job force President Trump is not currently doing. Well, first of all, let's remember we've had 75 straight months of job creation. And yes, the numbers uh, that have come out this week uh, are disappointing to anybody because we want to keep jobs growing. We want the unemployment rate, which did drop again, to be reflective of a tighter labor market, not people leaving right. uh, because they get discouraged. And that's a big problem. Well, it's a big problem, but I really uh, believe that we've got to do more to create more jobs, to, uh, more, to have more infrastructure jobs, something that I've been advocating for, something that I think should have bipartisan support. But How would you which, get it through Congress? Well, that's my point. It should have bipartisan support. We don't have enough jobs in America with rising incomes to provide hardworking Americans with the kind of purpose, dignity, and rising standard of living that we deserve here in our country. I think President Trump inherited a terrible situation, and we have come a long way out of the ditch we were dropped into by the failed Republican policies. Donald Trump wants to go back to that only in a more exaggerated form that will, I believe, throw us into a recession again, create a lot of economic hardship for people. So let's get Republicans and Democrats to agree in order to keep the economy moving forward and hopefully create more growth and more fairness in our economy. And we have to, you can't really separate the job of president having good stewardship for the economy with the job of being really the global leader to make sure that we not only enhance peace and prosperity, but that it creates the conditions for us to build our economy here. Hi, this is Sharon reporting from Bad News Media. Thanks for subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. We really appreciate your support. Please feel free to leave us a comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you.